Right folks, we're here today to talk about motorbike camping. The season's fast approaching us and there's some really, really good tents out there. However, we're here to talk about the most anticipated and highly rated tents on the market at the moment from our friends at Lone Rider. So stay tuned and we'll show you more. Hello guys, it's James here from Midlands Motorbikers. Thanks very much for tuning in. So today we're talking about the Lone Rider tent. Now, Lone Rider have been very good enough to send us uh, one of these to test out. This is the Moto tent, an amazing bit of kit. Um, there's plenty of videos online showing how good it is, but I want to put it to the test myself. So what we're doing today, we're going to get it set up, see how easy it is to set up. Basically, we're going to see how good it is. We're going to see if it's really worth the money that everyone says it is. and. Is it suitable for this sort of bike? Is it suitable for any sort of bike? All the questions you may want to ask. So, let's get it unpacked. All right, so, this is obviously the Lone Rider tent. First of all, let's talk about the bag. It's a fully waterproof bag. It is a roll bag at the top as well, so you know it's really, really good. Uh, not only does it keep the water out, but it keeps the air in as well, which is nice. Let's just loosen the straps off and see what we've got inside. Put that to one side for now. I love the fact it's got a warning triangle on as well. Not only reflective bands, but if you do get in trouble, you can just put this on the side of the road. It is reflective. So that's quite a nice little touch. Right, so I've opened the bag, we've seen what we've got inside it. We've got the outer tent, we've got the inner tent, we've got what looks like a bag of poles, bag of pegs, and ah, the ground sheet as well, which is good, as well as a puncture repair kit. So that's really good. Hopefully we won't be needing that. Uh, Lone riders say it takes about seven minutes to set up. <laughs> no rush. Uh, we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna get it all set up uh, and we'll just see how good it is. Let's go. Okay, let's check out the poles. So first of all, they come in a padded bag. Now this may seem simple, but to be honest with you, I think that's a really nice touch, making sure that should you need to pack it down nice and tight, it's not gonna rip through the outer bag. The poles themselves are made of super strong aluminium and they're curved, giving it a nice durable design. And to top it off, they're color coded, making sure you put them in the right place. Great design. One feature I really like about this is uh, there's only one way you can put the poles in. Obviously they're colour coded, that's the same with most tents nowadays, but by putting the pole in here, it's actually already sealed at one end, so you can just feed it straight away through without having to worry about it escaping the other end. In theory, sounds great. Let's see how it is. can't go anymore and then just latch it straight into the eyelet there how good's that right let's do the other two got to talk about these pegs check out the design now it's not your traditional hook design but that's actually really good it's a super strong design believe me you ain't gonna bend these easily all you need for this bit is one two three four we'll start with the back of the tent which is the black and we're just gonna peg down the back of the tent by these eyelets here OK, 
okay, so I'll put those pegs down in a minute, but essentially, once they're in, the back of the tent, the front of the tent, should now just literally slide into place. Find the points that we need and just walk it backwards. Essentially, that's it. That's the, the actual outer shell of it up. Obviously, if you're expecting bad weather, it has got the tie downs. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to use these anyway, just to make sure it's properly secure, just in case we get a free Kekna or anything like that. And uh, yeah, once it's all up, we'll have a look, we'll open it up and see how good it is. to put up the inner tent that side there with the red square or rectangle that is basically the garage area the living area the lounge area whatever you want to call it and this here is the bedroom area um, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought I know I've seen the videos online but now seeing it up close you can see you comfortably got enough room for two people but let's see what it's like when we put the inner in okay so this is the this is the ground sheet. Now obviously you don't always need the ground sheet, but it will prolong the life of your inner tent should you need to. Just adds to the waterproof side of things. And I love the fact, not that you'd ever need to use it, but if you ever do, you have SOS as well as Morse code. And I love the fact it's got the hand signals as well. So if you use a helicopter above, you'd be able to wave for help there. Looks like, again, we've got the color code system as well. So I can just put red to red. And, yep, black to black. So let's do that first. That may seem really simple, but that's a really nice touch, especially if it's raining outside and you just want to have somewhere nice to sit and you can have the, the outside fresh air. Uh, right. I'm going to close that for a second and I'm going to put the inner tent up. Okay, so, again, we've got colour code again yellow, up here to yellow. And the rest should follow suit. All assembled. Um, wasn't seven minutes, obviously it's my first time doing it and I did have a couple of errors, but it's very easy to see why it takes only seven minutes if you know what you're doing. It's really well made. It's really simple to put together. Um, just follow the, the colors really, that's the great thing about it. Space-wise, I'm about six foot. I'm not touching the top of the tent here, which is fantastic. This is your lounge area or the, the garage area, so looks like there's plenty of room for a bike. Obviously we'll find that out in a minute. Uh, and then we've got the inner. So if I open this, okay. so like most tents nowadays, this is a two skin. You've got the uh, the obviously the, the the light blocking section, and then you've got the mosquito net as well. So for keeping it as aerated as possible, you can open that if you need to. And by the look of things, yeah, there's loads of room in here. I'm going to shove that into one of the pockets. Whoa. Right, so, as I say, I'm about six foot. Still got plenty of space here. Loads of room here for your kit, for your bags, uh, to keep your boots and your helmet dry and everything and out from the outside. It's really nice. I actually quite like the red. I didn't think I'd like the red. It's uh, soothing. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so we've obviously got the back door as well. I open that. So, if it's a beautiful summer's evening or day, 
obviously you can tie it back or you can just shove it straight into the pocket here which is quite a nice little touch and then of course you've got the back door as well so if your bike is there and you want to be able to get in and out of the tent you don't have to worry about squeezing past your bike or anything and then you've got the outside here obviously we can tie the uh, the sides back which we'll probably do in a second and even just opening that i can straight away feel there's this nice breeze coming through so for summer's days this will be absolutely ideal absolutely brilliant the ground mat we've obviously taken out for now but if that was underneath it would actually be covering this area here as well so you can again store whatever you need to here just keeping it away from the garage area uh, but still within the grounds of the tent so everything seems to be really well thought about which is nice you've got hooks and everything around it and it's honestly this is such a really a really well designed bigger than i thought tent let's get the bike in oh that's huge just one thing i want to quickly try before we get the bike in i want to see just how sturdy the tent is even without the structure of it around it so if i open up all the garage doors so to speak let's see how strong it feels um, and don't forget at the moment the tent itself is only secured down by four pegs and then the four guide ropes um, although you have got the ability to add more pegs if you need to i think this is pretty sturdy as it is Obviously that's all the garage doors open now, the two sides and the front one. Obviously it has lost a bit of rigidity, but then that is expected. Obviously we can make the adjustments on the, the guy ropes if we need, but to be fair to you, apart from moving left and right, that's, that's pretty solid still. Let's get the bike in. Now I've done this on purpose, just to show you that it's always wise to make sure you know exactly how your bike is going to be positioned once it's in the tent. Obviously we're testing it quite badly, this ground here is really uneven, so I'm using the engine to push the bike into the tent. Once it was in place I realised, no, this is not what I'm looking at doing. When it's on the side stand it would be leaning towards the sleeping area, that's not what we want to do. So let's get the bike out of the tent, let's put it back in the correct way so it leans away from you. Obviously, you need to have a side stand extender just to make sure it doesn't dig into the ground or a side stand puck at the very least. Huh. I've got a motorbike in a tent. <laughs> That's incredible. Let's see if it closes. We're in. Okay, so I mean, admittedly, of course, when you get to the campsite, you'd probably take the boxes off the bike. So we are trying to do something expected the tent or, or more than expected the tent. But even so, with the full luggage system, and essentially if you've got other stuff on it as well, it fits and it fits really well. There's still plenty of room to walk around. It's not touching either side. You've still got a you know, good amount of space forward and backwards. Um, yeah, that's, that's incredible. So it's a tent with a garage. It really is, it's incredible. And obviously the front can close here for you. Um, I mean, this is for extreme circumstances. If you need to work on your bike or if it's just absolutely disgusting outside or whatever, you just want to keep it out of the elements, you can do. It also means you can pack your bike up sheltered as well for you. One thing that's really nice as well with a lone rider, you can get the additional awning kit as well. So you can actually have this extended out and almost have a roof here as well for you, either to sit on or you know cook your food here or whatever. Um, I, I'm well impressed with this, I really am. I can't believe I've got a bike in a tent. Well done, Lone Rider. One thing I love at the moment, obviously if your bike is in there, you might struggle to be able to get into the uh, the doors. And I saw a couple of videos online where people saying that was a negative point. Well, there's another entrance. Now this round here is perfect. Obviously your bike is in that side or your luggage or your, your whatever you want it to be. And yet you can just come in this side. And how nice is this? Oh. This is actually a really nice idea. And, and, and again, all your wet stuff and everything's all back there. 
here you've got access to some beautiful views if you want to your bikes all parked up nice and securely your sleeping area is all good and again i can't believe how much room we've got i love the fact the bike's there in my garage garage in the tent So let's talk about the finish of this tent. It really has been designed with the rider in mind. There's pockets galore, enough to store everything you need. There's hooks strong enough to make sure that you can hang your jackets and the fly net. Honestly, it gives so much ventilation and additional light into the tent. This is quite a nice feature. Obviously you've got the inner pockets as well, but I've just noticed down here, you've actually got a little clip here. So when you've locked it up for the night, so to speak, you can actually clip the zip here. Um, to stop anyone being able to it from the outside. It's little things like that I really like about this. Uh, so it looks like as well, in all four corners, you've got additional pockets here. Put your phone in, put your cigarettes in, or whatever you want to do if you're smoking. Um, and again, even yeah, it's nice that you've got this, this, this height to it as well. Um, you know, this has been designed for people that actually want to, te to, to be able to go camping. You know, especially with the, the, the lounge area or the sheltered area, you can actually get dressed, you can get your camping gear uh, away and you can get your bike gear on while standing up without having to crouch down like uh, I know I've done before in previous tents. No, I really like it. So what do we think? Honestly guys, it is a great tent. Um, I, I was looking at it before and I was thinking, is it just a lot of hype? Is it, you know, is it too expensive for what it is? Essentially, it's a tent. Uh, but no, it, it has, it's made everything so much simpler uh, and easier and it's been really well thought about. You can tell this is a biker's tent made by bikers, which is obvious in the design and how it's been put together and how easy it is to set up. Um, but it's the little things as well, the pockets in the right places, the hooks in the right places, um, the shape, the size, the design, everything about it just works. I love the fact it's the neutral colour as well, so it does blend into the natural environment, it's not too garish. Um, and obviously you've got the red to make it stand out where it needs to be, the guide ropes, etc. Um, the, the poles, uh, aircraft grade aluminium, so you know it's been designed in a way it's going to be durable, it's going to last. Um, and the fact, I, I know I keep saying it, but the fact you can get your bike in the tent it's got a garage i keep saying it because it still amazes me um and, and there's room to spare it's a really well thought out tent honestly i do highly rate it now this is obviously their big tent this is their moto tent um, there is another couple of tents that they do um, what we're looking to do next time will be to test out the adv tent which is a lightweight compact version of this not obviously you can't put your bike in this particular one but it's designed to be comfortable for you and someone else if you want to to have all your gear and the actual tent itself will comfortably go into one of the panniers as well so for now i'm giving this a five out of five i love it i love it i'm going to use it i'm going to go camping i want to go camping now and i've got to put it down guys thanks very much for watching see you soon